Damon, level 22 upgrade. The first thing that I'm going to be taking care of is the antenna straw. I got a couple black ones from the hobby shop and both of those shattered. Every time I turn Damon over, I breaks one. So I'm going back to the Traxxas one. Not as long, but I didn't break the other one. I just lost it. So we'll go back to that. As you can see, the straw is not as long as the other one. The other one, it went up to about there. But it was... I want durability. I don't care too much about length. It also comes with these end pieces if you ever want to cap them off. But I'll save them for now. I won't use them yet. The next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and take this top part off because I want to get to all that underneath there. The screws for the plate have been removed and the rods that connect to the steering have been taken care of so now I can remove the top plate. Now I'm going to take all of this off. Alright, first step, remove the hex screws that hold in the steering bell crank. Now, this can go ahead and slide off. And go ahead and move that to the side. Now I'm going to go ahead and undo this screw as well as that one. Okay, this screw is easy to remove. In order to remove this rod end from the servo, you do have to take out the center screw so this can slide off so you can reach the bolt. That is on the other side. Alright, so I have the first piece that I'm going for. Now, all I have to do is take off these rods and undo these screws. And with all these white pieces removed, I'm going to be painting them blue. Let's get that done. There we go. They have been painted. And don't they look fabulous? Yes, they do. Alright, let's get the masking tape off. Now, as a precaution, I ended up putting masking tape on the end holes. So, no paint would get inside and mess up the gearings. How did I do that? I used a hole punch with masking tape to cover up the holes. Alright, now it's time to reassemble. And there we go. The steering bell cranks have been put right back together. Now, with all that taken care of, I can go ahead and put this back in. The top plate has been screwed back into place, tires reattached, and as you can see, visually I think it looks much better. Awesome. Now it's time for the actual upgrade. What I'm going to be doing is removing all the screws that hold in each shock. To get to these ones, I'm going to take off the front bumper. And as you can see, all the shocks have been removed from Damon. Now, it's time to take each one of these apart. So, pull the spring back. That comes off. Spring comes out. Another brace for the spring. Pull out the adjustable spacers, and there is what I'm trying to get to. And now it's time to bust out the new blue aluminum shock caps. Beautiful. And there they are in all their glory, of course, done by Traxxas. Let's open this up and see what we get. With the back removed, go ahead and take out the high quality foam. Containing shock caps made of blue aluminum. They look really good. I like it. Alright, before I replace the shock cap cover with the new ones, I am going to dye the body of the shock black. So match the rest of Damon. Over here, I already have one disassembled. So I'll go ahead and show you exactly what I did to disassemble it. Alright, step one. Remove the shock cap cover. Should easily just screw off. Now, as you can see, there is a rubber seal in there. We need to get that out. So, I'll go ahead and pop that off. And as you can see, it's just basically a round piece of rubber. 
but that is important. You need to have that, otherwise your shock will leak. So we can go ahead and put that off to the side. And now drain the oil. And as you can see, the oil does get really dirty. So yeah, you have to replace your silicone oil every once in a while. I don't know how often, but it's good to check out. Okay. All right, next step, I have to get this rod end off. In order to do that, I put some foam inside a wrench. That way I don't scratch it up when I turn it. Hold it in place, and this can now easily screw off. Well, somewhat easily. Anytime now, anytime. There we go. The wrench. Now, just go ahead and push that on through. All right, you got the next part out. Now with the back shocks, there's another little black washer that went around this rod. And it got stuck in there, which I had to pry it out. But with the front shocks, it doesn't have them. So I'll go ahead and put that in there. Last but not least, I have to go ahead and take off this bottom part. This holds the washers that keep it sealed on the bottom. That easily just screws on off. Now there's three washers in here. A blue one that's made of rubber. Black one, which sometimes is white, which is made out of a harder plastic. And then one more blue one, which is also made of rubber. Easily work that out. Come on. There we go. And that's it. That is all that is inside a shock. So, now that I have my shock bodies, I'm going to go ahead and go dye these black. All right, I'm using the same method that I used to dye the body, as well as all the other parts. Rip black dye. Went ahead and took it out of the packet. And it's just a powder you put in the boiling water. And yes, you can use the pot after you use it, so it doesn't ruin the pot. Now we let that boil for a while while it stirs, and we can start dyeing. All right, for the shock bodies, I used some fishing wire, just like last time, tied to a fork. Put the heat on low and lure them in. Now I get to sit and wait. Start. And there we go. Nice jet black. Exactly what I've been wanting for a long time. Now it's time to go ahead and reassemble it. All right, step one, I gotta reassemble the bottom. So, reverse process, blue, black, and blue. Just like that. Get the base and screw it on. Bam. All right, now we get the corresponding rod. Find the spot, slide that in. Okay, using that high quality foam with the wrench, hold that in place while I screw the rod back on. Shouldn't be too hard to do. There we go. All right, beautiful. As a quick note, with the rear shocks, it does have this extra little washer on there. The front ones don't have it. But yeah, it goes on the rod before you put it back in. Okay, make sure that is pulled out all the way. And as simple as filling up the shock full of silicone oil. You don't want to fill it up all the way to the top, pretty close. Come on, come on, come on. 
Any faster? Alright. Fill it up to right about there. Now, for the fun part. Get the little rubber seal. Put that on. Get the new aluminum shop cap cover. Simple as screwing it on. Make sure it's good and tight. Voila. Beautiful, isn't it? Alright, these are my old springs. All I did was used a little bit of that RC paint and I gave them a light layer of blue paint. Give them a nice little gleam. So, slide that on with a spring. Now, put the base on and that is a new look for my shocks. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And there they are, in all their glory. Exactly what I wanted. Let's go ahead and put these bad boys back on. And there we go, the shocks have been reinstalled. And that is Damon's level 22 upgrade.